Hi everybody, Bill1911 here. Hey, it's coming up on our favorite time of the year, Christmas. And at Christmas time, sometimes parents have the desire to buy their young ones um, a new shooting iron, okay? Uh, namely a BB gun or a pellet gun. Well, uh, today we're going to try to tell you some of the things that you're going to need to know about this because not all BB guns and pellet guns are the same thing. Okay, this is a BB gun, and it's comparatively safe. Um, it doesn't have enough velocity, enough power to penetrate a human body. Now, that said, you can put an eye out with one of these things, so it is very, very important to remember to use eye protection. Okay, make sure that you get safety glasses for the young ones if you decide you want to deal with a BB gun. Um, another example is, I'm sure you've heard of the Red Rider BB gun. Well, it's a good little gun. And it operates on the same principle that this guy does. This is called a marksman, okay, uh, BB gun. So I'm going to take you through how this thing works and show you why it is a very, very different animal than this guy. Now this guy is a pellet gun. This guy can generate enough power to not only penetrate you, but kill you. These things can be as dangerous as a regular gun, and they need to be treated accordingly. So don't be fooled. When it says pellet gun, that does not necessarily mean weak. Some of these things are literally as powerful as 22 caliber rifles. This one here, this is an Olympic grade um, competitive pellet pistol. Uh, this is made by a company in Russia called Baikal. It's a fine, fine gun. It shoots extremely well. It's tremendously accurate. But you have to respect this thing because it can really get you in a lot of trouble. It can potentially be lethal. So we need to be real careful, and I'm going to explain to you how this works and why it's different from the BB gun. So let's get started. Okay, if you've seen any of my other videos, um, you probably already know that I am not the world's greatest artist, nor do I claim to be. Uh, in fact, most of my drawings are pretty lousy. Uh, but let's go ahead and go with what we got because that's what we have to work with. Now, this first one is a spring air BB gun. Okay, This is how the marksman BB gun, that's this one, works. This is a very low power one. This one is the one that's comparatively safe. Again, that doesn't mean you can't get hurt with this thing. It just means that it's probably not going to be lethal. All right, so the way this works is you cock the gun, you pull back apart, and it compresses this spring while pulling back a rubber cup inside of a metal tube. As that cup comes back, okay, to this point, it locks in place, all right? So when we pull the trigger, this spring shoves that cup back forward very rapidly, okay? And as it comes forward, it forces all that air to try and squeeze down through this venturi section, okay, at the front of it, and go out through the hole behind the BB, and then that, that accelerated air pushes the BB out the barrel. So... These things can't generate a lot of power. Um, they can generate enough to, you know, put out an eye or something like that. So you do have to be careful and make certain that if you're going to get one of these things, you take the precautions of getting eye protection. Okay, they are important for that. So the second type we're going to talk about, okay, now this one's a little bit more complicated. This is a compressed air um, pellet gun. Now the way it works is you have a handle, okay? Sometimes these are known as pneumatic, okay? You pull this handle forward, okay? 
and this compressor piston goes this way inside of a tube. It slides toward the front. Then when you close that handle back down, it forces that piston back forward. Now, right here is a part called a check valve. Now, what that allows to happen is the air can only flow in one direction, okay? Once this piston starts to go back the other way for the next pump, this valve has a spring that forces it closed and prevents that air that's been pumped into this chamber from escaping. This big chamber is the compressed air chamber. So every time you pump this thing, you get more and more pressure going through these little ports <coughs> and into the compressed air chamber. All right. So after a while, you get a few pumps, you get a substantial amount of air built up in this compressed air chamber. A lot of pressure. When you pull the trigger over here, there's another valve. This is called a rapid pressure release valve. And this allows all of the pressure built up in this compressed air chamber to be pushed through a port and into the barrel behind the lead pellet. And that pushes that lead pellet out of that barrel at an extreme velocity. Some of these things can fire 11, 12, 1400 feet per second. And that is actually faster than a 22 long rifle. These types of rifles, they come in different calibers. They come in 30 caliber, the same thing as you would shoot a deer with. Uh, they came, come in 22 caliber, and they come in 17 caliber, or .177. Okay, that's the big mechanical difference in the way these two work. However, I want to show you another gun. This is a gun that fires BBs, but it's constructed like this high-power one. Okay, it is... A compressed air type rifle okay and this is the uh, model 760 Crossman rifle okay and this thing is a pump action rifle and it does have a lot of power an awful lot of power it's it is powerful enough to penetrate the skin so you're going to want to be very careful if you purchase one of these because this thing is no joke. It can be dangerous. So use caution when you, when you purchase one of these guns, okay? One of the things that you're going to need to be aware of is you're going to hear the term FPS. FPS stands for feet per second and that's how fast that pellet can travel when you start looking at things that are 450 500 feet per second you're starting to get into the dangerous category uh, when you start seeing things that are below that such as this little uh, marksman pistol here uh, you really it's not as dangerous again you still got to be careful. So, all right, there's one more type of uh, BB gun that I want to talk to you about, and that is a CO2 powered PB, BB gun. They use these pressurized cartridges as the power source to push the BB out the barrel on these things. Now, CO2 is kind of interesting. When it's in a little vessel like this, okay, it is at least part of the material in here is liquid because anything over 852.8 .8 pounds pressure per square inch becomes liquid. So as the material gets used out of this container, 
you'll end up with liquid in part of the container, but on the top, on the upper part of it, you'll end up with gas. So, as it uses more material, you get less and less and less liquid, but the pressure inside this vessel stays at about 852.8 pounds per square inch of pressure. That's a lot of push behind a little steel ball that comes out of one of these air pistols, all right? So these two, you're going to have to be very careful with them because they can be dangerous. They've got a lot of power. The CO2 cartridge goes inside the handle of the gun, okay? When you crank the screw up on the bottom end of it, it forces that cartridge up into a puncturing tube that punctures the top of the, um, uh, the top of the CO2 cartridge. And in the same way I explained about those pump type compressed air rifles, this works the same way, only this takes the place of that compressed air chamber. This is the compressed air chamber, okay? And it's at 800 pounds per square, 850 pounds per square inch plus. So these things can also be very dangerous. You're going to have to be very, very careful with these CO2 powered um, pistols and rifles. So with that in mind, keep that in mind as you're shopping for Christmas. So use common sense when you buy these things and make sure that your child is adult enough to understand principles like three gun safety rules. One, keep the gun pointed in a safe direction at all times and explain to them that a safe direction is not static uh, it changes with your environment. You have to constantly be aware of where you're pointing that gun. Two, always keep your finger off the trigger until you're ready to shoot it. And three, always keep the gun unloaded until you're ready to use it. Happy holidays, everybody, and have a wonderful new year. Hey, if you've enjoyed this video, if it's been helpful to you and entertaining, Please, don't forget to hit the like button, and by all means, subscribe. And when you're done with that, come and visit us at askbill1911.com. Hi, Bill1911 here. Today I'd like to talk to you about something that's very important to us, and that's your safety. Do not attempt any of the things you see on our videos until you have thoroughly reviewed and understood our safety procedures. Also, if you're under 18 years of age, do not attempt any of these topics without the consent of your parent or guardian. Thank you.